Hello, little guided soul. The animal totem cards are going to help me give you your love reading today. If you're seeking guidance or synchronicity, let's dive into what's going to resonate. Take what does, do not take what doesn't. Trust the universe has a way of speaking directly to you. So let's see what comes out. And then we'll ask some questions from there. The strength card. And six of pentacles. Ooh, I think somebody is not feeling up to par right now. They could be they could be good on the level with their friends, but right now interpersonally they're having a hard time connecting with themselves. There's something about uh spirit, what is it about this person that they're not acknowledging if they could say something for themselves, what would it be? Yeah, the Emperor and on the bottom of the deck was the King of Pentacles in reverse. This person doesn't feel like they're at a strong um, place, but they feel like they're working up to it. It's just in the beginning stages. Jeez, these cards are not going to go. Where is this person headed? This person is setting a goal. And they've they've fixed doggedly on it. The next step for them is going to be creatively uh, approaching what they decided to 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 put their sights on and focus. Too many cards. But that was the Nine of Swords. This could be something really challenging. Something like most people wouldn't wouldn't do. Alright, let me get your energy right now. What's going on with my viewer? Animal guides. Three of Swords and the Six of Swords in reverse. Interesting. Three to the Six. Uh, there could be a really a situation that's really uncertain for you, and you're thinking a lot about it. I feel like you're trying to um, go from situation to situation and and make uh, well make educated decisions without stopping and resting looking at how far you've come really the three of swords represents a difficult energy to get through but looking forward when you shouldn't be looking back and the six of swords is um it's actually represented of you having come a long way um, it's interesting. It's it's odd to an even number. Okay, so so why why are these swords energies here for you? The six actually is a stable card. It's just um, it it's about looking at things from a new perspective and trying to adjust as life comes the ten of swords there's a lot of swords energy around you right now what is this about is this about this person or the five of wands it's about being unsure about where to go, feeling a little bit lost right now. You could be a really cerebral person, and I feel like you're trying to to decide on what's going to be best for you because you're lost in the dark. Eight of Swords, it's like you don't know which direction to take without having some guidance. So many Swords cards right now in your energy. 
All right, let me get your mutual energy with you and this person. Some mutual energy. The moon, the hermit, and the three of cups. I think both of you are trying to look on the bright side. You seem to be like in a more anxious state and your person seems to be more in um, a, um, a frustrated or pessimistic state. But you both are going inside and looking for answers. You're both, this is both, this is part of a bigger journey for you. And you're focused on, on the good that's going to come out of this situation that you're both approaching. You're both going through a hard time right now. So I'm going to get some, some feelings and thoughts about you from this person. I don't give personal readings, but I give free extendeds on YouTube. So the link will be right here. And, and that's it for right now. I'll see you right over there.